is. Field Kappa Death Valley. Okay. So, the Death Valley, very popular map on the in house yeah. scene. Yeah, it's it's like the standard map on the in house. I, I, I mean, like 90% of the games have been uh, conducted on that map, haven't they? Hi, but with the introduction of the new maps, um, a lot of people are moving away from this map, so yeah. it's nice to see that. Yeah. Ah, Ganon obviously doesn't like the map. So, uh, yeah guys, vote for the one who's going to win the map. Um, now, here we come to Optical, the specialist here. Who do you think will have the, uh, yeah, who will have his, let's say in, in Germany we have the expression, like, have the nose in front, like, you know, be a bit faster or better. Who do you think is the more favored guy here in this matchup? Well, it's it's safe to say that Salami has quite a lot of um, favor behind his back, right? especially with winning a lot of the King of the Hill. But I honestly see ZX Gallen being a bit of an underdog and taking the victory today. I'm I've seen him play today. He's been playing very well and very dominant. So I'm I'm going to give it to Gallen. So you give it to Ganon, okay. So I've been seeing Salami playing against Maze, and um, Salami has a, a very unique style. He either cheeses he does, like a hundred percent, or he plays through the whole whole match. If he's not cheesing, he has to play through the match. He has to endure the play style of Ganon, and Ganon is more or less a beast when it comes to macro all over the map. So. If there is no cheese involved, I would say it's Ganon. If there is a cheese involved, I would say Ganon loses maybe one map. Either he rages then or says, "Okay, now I'm going to like me mega safe." Then he will, uh, uh, then he will win. But if it's going to be cheesy, I think Ganon is going to lose. So I say it's Ganon who's going to win because he will definitely defeat the cheeses by the lab. Well, as I said, you know we. we could be wrong, like if if uh, Zolami gets that Chimera and pulls yeah. off a cheesy strategy, it might work against Scannon. So that's the only faction he's really worried about. We'll see. Okay, then. So um, it looks like both ready. Yeah, all ready. Ganon ready. Are you ready, sir? I certainly am. Okay, then we start the game in three, two, one, launch. So here we go. In the bottom, we have my German fellow, ZX Ganon, as Cartel in red. And in the top, we have Salami, uh, looking on Chimera, playing purple. So yep. we'll uh, see some cheese, no doubt. I can't wait for this game now. <laughs> you actually, you pressed the button, didn't you? Like the, the, the optical ones button. Not the Simon Says button, it's like the optical ones. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right, so um, yeah, we see Salami go in uh, refinery on yeah. um, aluminum and the oil. I'm getting a barracks first, and you can see Ganon already scouted him. So okay. Ganon shit his pants now, probably. <laughs> it's going to be pretty, pretty. Ganon is opening the standard way now, like like Cartel does. Double refinery onto oil. Uh, he's deciding to take the right side of the oil, where actually there's more spigots. So. Um, He's doing, as for that, he's doing a fair good job. He's already saving his um, uh, refinery by moving one Viper to the refineries. And um, he's yep. taking his first bank. Same is Salami, taking first bank. Uh, Salami is already with his crushes. He's having three crushes onto the four crushes. Why is that yeah. on one refinery? Um, yeah, from this uh, map, we've uh, figured out that Four crushers is the best way to go as um, Chimera. If you've got the upgrade with the refinery, okay. it's, the, it's the best route. Okay, nice. Good to know. So, Ganon scouting around with his uh, K Max, the Reckon K Max. Um, what I miss from Ganon is to place his, like to build extra K Maxes to place them on the map. I mean, if you, if you go logically, you have three ways 
what your opponent can reach you with, like how your opponent can reach you with. So we have like left, mid, right. Why not placing K Maxes there? This is what I do actually. I place K Maxes all over the map to just have a vision where he will attack me so I can move all units. Yeah, that's a common strategy that uh, Andre B does as well. So, um, Ganon likes to use his starting scout unit a lot. He's always very active with it, I and mean, you'll see that throughout the match until he actually loses it. And then he'll probably transition into using his collectors for the scouting information then. Exactly. Now we see a Fallen moving into the bank, or close to the bank, to, by uh, Salami. He's having one Fallen. He's, he's having two Fallens, all, all, like left, maximum left side, as you can see. L left and right. Is he going to, like, sneaky capture? I believe something? he may be going for that sneaky capture strategy. Um, Salami's yeah. definitely well known for that. And, I mean, it's not that kind of cost like it's not killing you it's not an all-in or whatever it's more or less i mean it, it's just it's just a felon and the upgrade and the upgrade is not killing you maybe it, it, it slows you down in the early game but it doesn't necessarily take it down they can. yeah it's basically just to be that annoyance you know that annoying factor that if you're not paying attention it will hurt you but if you are paying attention you're like well i don't care yeah exactly so yeah, so I'm going for the third refinery, four uh, crushers, four refinery by Ganon. Ganon is doing a fair good job here by just, yeah, going for more refineries. And this is what Cartel has to do. He, they have to expand all the map. This is actually what, what I don't like about Cartel, that, that you're so dependent on your refineries, like huge dependent. Last game we saw Ganon play against the Araton and Oh man, Anerton had like maybe maximum of four refineries on the map. Ganon had like 20, and he was like ahead of 5k oil. Yeah, that's um, generally Ganon's playstyle. He'll spam out the refineries, and then he'll start producing loads of uh, super hinds. We've been seeing a lot today from yeah, Ganon. Exactly. Um, I'm not sure that he'll be doing it against uh, Salami's Chimera though, because he'll. Uh, Fear the ninjas that um, Chimera can use. Yeah. Now we have the felon and uh, two contractors next to the. Yep. So base. you can see there that uh, Zalami tried that sneaky, tried to capture the ref, oh, yeah. but Ganon knows this strategy pretty well, as he pretty much used to do it all the time. So yeah, he ain't gonna be fooled by that yeah. strategy. And now we see top right. We see some, uh, yeah, bank taking over by Ganon. And, uh, yeah, well played by Ganon. He's um, definitely taking the better initiative yeah. here by um, capturing the banks and exactly. denying as much as possible. And the thing is, from from what I see right now, is that Ganon is more aware of the map. He's having his awareness is way better than Salami's for now. because Salami nearly lost his unit where I mean Ganon had already like had it had his contractors running from like on the bottom right where the Fallen came. He already had his contractors running there so he even blocked the vision which Salami didn't do. So for now I think it's it's Ganon a bit he's Ganon is favored as well. I mean Yeah I, this is um Basically, Ganon is just taking a lot of attention off Salami, and he's yeah. just taking up in the background and getting loads of map control. Exactly. But um, Salami actually has the prison out with the um, prison heal strategy, and yeah. uh, he's attempting to take the bank with just the four felon, which um, I think might be possible if he's constantly healing him. And he's capturing some prisoners as well, so... Yeah. Decent play from uh, Salami here, but Ganon's actually came in with a couple of Scorpios onto um, the expansion refinery of Salami here. Yeah, two Scorpios. I think they one shot crushes today, yeah. They pretty I, much do, yeah. I love the sound of them. Oh, yeah, they do sound awesome. Yeah. But they have a very um, slow rate of fire. Yeah, exactly, but the range is high. And they are glass cannons. 
Yeah, um, Salami really doesn't have a lot to deal with this uh, early aggression from Ganon right now. Yeah. And this um, may pose a threat. There's also absolutely. Salami putting his SAS onto the risk. He's having an SAS right in front of the bank and it's dead. Yep. So you can't oh. always be like, watching over them Scorpios, so he can't just cheese himself there. Yeah. And now we're seeing Super Hines on the field Yeah, now. already. So, um, yeah, this is Ganon being a big threat now. Yeah. He, this is exactly what he needed to do. Get the map control, get the units out that matter, and put the pressure onto Salami, and force Salami to play on the back foot. Exactly. So, right now, Ganon has such a huge map control. And Indeed. look at his rate of expanding. He's having yep. so much refineries right now. Yeah, this is very typical of uh, Ganon. We've seen a lot of this today. He just he goes for them few units just to really make you play defensive. And then as, as you do that, he expands like crazy. Yeah. Now, top right, we have two Shershins, one Viper against Crushers. Okay, the Crushers just do the job here, but uh, this... wow. We're seeing some Grenadiers from uh, Salami now, actually. Okay. This so could... this is um, good for, good against the Shershins and can actually be very good against um, Superhinds, because they're able yep. to attack air. And the, the range of them. The range of obscene, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so no uh, spear, um, sword, vehicle bay even. Yeah. So we'll um, have to wait and see what Salami can do against the exactly. super. Hunt. Exactly. So we still see the aggression all over the map. Why can He's shooting the crushers. He's taking down the economy. He's buying time for himself, which is good. This is actually the way how you can. You have to, you have to buy yourself the time, like the, the the rate of harvesting. You have to slow the opponent down. It's not like uh. that he has to rebuild the crushes. No, it's more or less the time he loses. So yeah, we see the uh, ninja there. This is yeah. what, uh, it's really uh, in theory. It's the power of these ninjas because they have a longer range than the super hinds. But the super hinds are actually chasing them right down. So we're trying to seize the army now, micro him away. And he's taking some nice pot shots at those super hinds. Yeah. Stealth and detected. And now this is Ganon losing already two super hinds here, but still oh. being able to, yeah, take down some pressures. Now Ganon has to more or less flee with his super hinds. Aye. Now what I would have liked to have seen there is um, actually try to take out the outpost or the refinery. Preferably the outpost. Stealth yeah. enemy unit That's a lot of aluminum for uh, Solana to lose yeah. really early. And the power as well. There's still... Look at the Shershin. Shershin and Vipers inside the building next to the... Uh, er, uh, next to the... Expansion here. That's oh, it's just... a very nice combination. But you can see the Grenadier's range really yeah. destroying the Shershins. So it's a nice play there. Yeah. So far. And uh, the thing is now Ganon has to... Probably Ganon has to stop expanding, stop spending money into buildings, he has to really gear up, he has to get yep. his units, he has to get a force, I mean he has a huge income, I mean he has so many refineries. That... Yep, and you're seeing it right now, he's transitions into the uh, automatics to deal with his uh, ninja threat. Yeah, he's already, he's, he's on black market now, uh, black, black, uh, black ops now, he's going for the uh, for the Tomar uh, generator. There, oh, there are ninjas Stealth inside the base. Yep. Yep, he uh, was to expect this. This is why he's pumping out the automatics now. He'll dot them around yeah. all his refineries to stop the harassment. Yeah. And uh, Salami really going heavy into the ninjas to um, try and stop these uh, super hinds. But see, now it's just going to be a massive counter on the counter. Enemy this is pretty bad though now because he had both his automatics running down. And there's still one ninja in the base. Taking down yeah, most of the KMAX. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. So uh, Zalami now just being annoying as possible and now yeah. he's taking the um, 
of initiative now to expand. But, uh, yeah. For now, I mean, Ganon is doing a good job with just automatics all over the map. With this just, is what you need to do, yeah. Yeah. But Salami can rebuild his base. He can gather now, finally gather his, uh, yeah, his strength. Now we see Namers here. Oh, I have a freeze. Yep, same here. Okay, now we have uh, Salami, salami lagging. Lag in. Uh, yeah. What's up with that? Okay, he's fine, I think. Ah, uh, I still have it. 19 oh, seconds, oh. 17. Now we are back. Yeah, he, um, Salami does often have these lag issues. So yeah, now uh, Ganon's been forced to stop producing the super hinds. He's now taken up towards the uh, specters, which are going to be a much better unit to use in this situation. He needs to stop Salami from expanding yeah. now. Or as Salami will take over the game eventually yeah, if he yeah. gets out uh, Terminators. Exactly. It says my stream is offline. Well, but it's not, I think. So. So we see uh, Neymar is pushing down the mid now, heading towards Ganon's base, and uh, Ganon's responding with a couple of Shurshens by the look of it. Yeah. And um, relying on his behinds also. But he, Ganon needs. Okay, now Ganon's going for Spectres. He has his prototype bay up. He's still missing the uh, Stealth Lab, but uh, he's going for. Now he's. Yeah. First two upgrades coming, then Spectres. Spectres are so necessary for... Uh... Absolutely, and he, he definitely needs them um, to deal with um, this threat of uh, Namers and Grenadier combination. Yeah. And with these ninjas also. And this, like what I was saying earlier, this this is the issue that Ganon's going to have, is the uh, the ninjas will exactly. be the annoyance and uh, scare of Ganon. And this is... wow, the Grenadiers, look at this. It's so hard now for Ganon to actually get close to this. Ah, uh, he's just rushing in the auto, so the automatics will do really well here. Yeah. Because they're so tanky and they do plenty of damage. Yep. Ganon looks so solid here. Um, I'm not sure about the Vipers since the Grenadiers fire and see the Nary Rings. There's, um, it's a really hard combination to deal with as a uh, cartel run. Right? Uh, spectre tanks. Yeah, just two two spectres. The thing is that the Grenadiers really do also hurt the spectres. So uh, he's having. Well, if he can get him close the, the upgrade, the forty millimeter upgrade, he should be able to do enough damage. Yeah. If he gets close enough, yeah. As you can see. Um, Salami's really taking this opportunity to expand now, and this is where Ganon's going to be in some serious trouble. Because uh, if he lets this continue, he will eventually lose the game. And he's already sending more Vipers to death. The Grenadiers will just take Yeah. Now we have the Spectres with the upgrade coming in. Yep. Wow. Well, they're having trouble. They're having trouble. The Namers soak so much damage here. Yeah, you should try and take out the Namers with the Spectre's range. Yeah. And then move in with the uh, auto cannon on the uh, Grenadiers. But now we see Zalami again with uh, more reinforcements. Yeah. Now. Oh, look at the Namers. Look at that. Stealth enemy unit yeah. So no, Gavin's doing the right thing here, he's, he's pulling back, he's trying to snipe yeah. as much uh, damage on the Namers as possible. And is basically forced back into his base. So
so we see actually Ganon who has to retreat. Yeah, uh, that's what I was saying. Uh, this is what Ganon was really fearing from Zalami. Him yeah. getting Chimera and him using the strategy involving ninjas. Yeah. And also the Grenadiers. They just do the same damage here. Yeah. The problem is that Ganon's so reliant on Stealth Super Heights. Yeah. And Salami is just countering the Super Heights at every angle possible. But Ganon also needs the Stealth Lab. With the Stealth Lab, he can actually research that um, the indirect shooting strategy. Oh, Really good, then the neighbors can shoot down the missiles. Ah, they can. Oh. Yeah, they've um, got a built in uh, serious mechanic. We are still having the issue that, I mean, that Ganon now is actually taking control of the ground. Yep. Well, well more or less regaining it. But um, we still have the problem that there are still four ninjas. Indeed, yeah, he needs, getting, he needs to get the uh, automatics. But, you know, well, actually, I mean, the, 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 the Spectres shoot into the air if they get close enough. If he research, uh, well, he doesn't have the stealth lap for anti stealth. But, um, yeah. Stealth enemy detected. For now, he's not looking that bad. Yeah, he has lost quite a few King Maxes yeah. there to that no, yeah. lone ninja. Stealth enemy unit detected. So Ganon now yeah. reclaiming a bit of ground. Uh, Kappa to Kappa, both players are on my team, like both players, and uh, they know that they betray themselves if they would stream cheat. Even with me having a delay of 30 seconds, the game is just different to StarCraft 2. If you're comparing it to StarCraft 2, you're just done. Come, let's keep it to the game. If you don't like it, leave the stream. I don't care. But um, just annoying people here that there is the delay is too, too low doesn't even actually matter. So um, yeah, it's just more or less useless and uh, yeah. Stealth enemy I thank detected. you very much for the feedback, but uh, I cannot change anything and both players are on my team So no one is in favor of anyone here. So thank you very much. Sorry for that, but the chat is sort of bugging right now So we see um, Salami now actually gaining a real nice control of yeah. mid Yes he Oh look, oh my god, look at the, the amount of Grenadiers here. Yep. So, uh, range. yeah, the range is really impressive. I feel that um, Ganna needs to get some sort of uh, infantry killing unit, like um, a Jack couple of escape CGSs. Or yeah, some Jackal with the upgrade. Stealth enemy unit detected. Jackals are okay. But like the scope CGS, yeah, probably do really well. Yeah, with the flamethrower upgrade, would really destroy the infantry. Yeah. So, so okay, um, we I have. I like this artillery turret. Though. Yeah. He is having actually. He's having two jackals built. Let's see. Salami is still. Still, oh, Salami's going for Terminator. Stealth enemy here. unit detected. Yep, this is the uh, Chimera transition to Terminators now. Yeah, but still, Terminators against Spectres. Ch wrong choice. Uh, I think he should stick with what he has. Well, he can, he can achieve some uh, really good damage with the Terminators. The problem Stealth lies is when detected. Terminators um, come into a Head on match with the Spectres. The Spectres will win if Micro do. Yeah. So it's just a case of if Ganon's you know, really on his toes, yeah. he shouldn't have any problem being with Terminators. But this is a nice push to Ganon to do right now to the mid expansion of his army, denying his uh, aluminum here. Stop. 
So uh, Gannon's swooping in there with a load of jackals to take care of this uh, grenadier problem. Yeah. But he needs to be careful with them, they're really weak units and crushers are actually killing them. <laughs> the thing is that he still has, he has his jackals. Stealth Could unit be very dangerous. But now, they still, the, the grenadiers, they have such a huge range of, like, high rate of fire. Can you call it high rate of fire? Yeah. Um, yeah, they have, they have great range, they have a decent rate of fire. Um, they're very annoying, they're really good at King Turin over infantry. Yeah. Stealth enemy unit detected. Now we see, look at this range again. But the damage at that range is pretty low. It's more of an annoyance thing. Yeah. Thing. yeah. But um, Ganon actually gaining some more grain now. Those spectres proven to be very useful. Stealth enemy. Just have to see detected. what Salami can do about it. Yes, exactly. Um, actually, if you look at the map of Salami's base, um, he's actually taken out the, the vehicle bay from the Terminator. Oh, nice. This is and, actually uh, what we. Nice yeah. This is. Sorry, sorry, I didn't want to uh, disturb you. Wow, I'm just amazed by Ganon's control of the units here right now. Yeah, this is beautiful play by Ganon. This is exactly uh, what I'd expect. Oh, there we see a Reno. Yeah, the um, miners are really in this range. But their damage isn't yeah. amazing in their own. They need to be in a group to be very friendly. Yeah. I mean, the, do you know what the sound of the spectre reminds you when it hits the building? It sounds like a flipper. A <laughs> flipper. <laughs> you know, pretty funny though. <laughs> so, Stealth enemy unit detected. Ganon is pretty so, safe so far. But well, he has one KMX low on the in his top uh, uh, refinery, like top left. He's like just on one KMX there. But now he's not. He's having such a map awareness, and this is very good. And I mean, Indeed. I don't know Stealth where Salami lost detected. this fight. Yeah, the problem on on Salami's side was yeah. he he got the real good control of the mid, and he should have just tried to maintain it and tech yeah. up. And he checked up a little too late, in my opinion. Like he he could have had Terminators out on the field a lot earlier. As yeah. soon as Gun hit the Spectres out, it was um. I mean, look at look at his base. You can see in his base he has Stealth another massive group of spectres there, and he's got a big attack going out already. So yeah, I'm starting to see the beginning of the end of Salami here. There's still two spectres in the ba in the back of uh, the base of Salami. Yeah, and that's the good thing about them. They can just be very annoying. Like yeah. The and they they are pretty tanky. I mean, it's just 25 HP, but still they're tanky, and it's it's not. They're not easy to get rid of, let's say. No, they're really young. But uh, Salami just Stealth just harassed um, um, Ganon here on the See, left side. Like... Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, there are two Axil soldiers taking uh, taking over the the army, well, the units of uh, Ganon, not the buildings of Ganon. And now we see two jackals against. Yeah, and they are being executed. That was it about the two ex-soldiers heroics. <laughs> what I would have liked to have seen actually is um, some tigers from uh, Salami. Yeah. Like, Grinch, Grinch is counter and hard but the tigers would really destroy the um, spectres yeah. big time. But look at the work what, um, um, what, what Ganon is putting into the game. I mean he's also like he's building, look at the train of vipers. <laughs> this is, like I said, it's the beginning of the end there. He's just basically building absolutely everything, trying to yeah. put the pressure onto Zalami now and uh, try and go in for the kill. Take it's, over the map. Exactly. Force him into his base. He got, he got, like, he got the, the, the hang of the resource side. Like, the, 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 like, every player on this map has his left side, Stealth where most of the resources detected. are all the right. Okay? So he also got got control of the resource side of, 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 of Salami, like Salami can expand nowhere else. No. Nope. And this is the, the thing I was saying, it's just this whole map control play that uh, Ganon does is really yeah. well. Yeah. Even though Stealth I thought that Ganon would detected. lose, it's just like he's really doing a good job here. 
Yeah, and uh, Zalami use it now, which is kind of interesting. Like, if Ganon sees Max Storms, which he does, he just pulls them back, and the Max Storms are useless. Yeah. And and next to the GG. Yeah, very well played from uh, both guys. Yeah. Look at the economy, though. It's it's pretty close on the oil. Yeah, this is this is what I mean. I mean, you saw Ganon having like complete control of the map all the time, and still it's so close. And just yep. 4K. What's 4K? That's one Valkyrie. Yeah, that's, that's pretty um, close. And this is what I was saying about Ganon's play today. Yeah. He's just been really good with the whole map control and maintaining it and expanding very well. So. Exactly. Good props to him. Whew, that was well, that was an intense game, though. That was a very interesting first game. Yeah, yeah. very good. Okay, I rehost it. I will okay, make I'm in. the game <laughs> private. Observer. Observer, open, and I will invite both players. Uh, let me just think. Uh, invite button. Wow, just too much for me today. Okay, now it's Salami's turn again. The river map. River run through? Yeah, the river run through, yeah. That's the word. And yeah, red and blue. Both players have it. So. The pink is bad. Pink and red. Well, let's let's keep it pink and red. So I think the viewers will be able to see it. Yeah, so Zalami loves his uh, pink color. I'm I'm promoting the game badly. Yes. Okay. I will I will put put up the the the, the shadows, but I will drop FPS with that. But uh, no problem, guys. If you're ready, I will start. Oh. Both players, were they ready? Are they yep, game on. Okay. okay, so on the bottom again we have the follow ZX Ganon in red with Cartel. And in the top we have uh, Zalami playing Chimera as pink. So it's going to be another Chimera versus uh, Cartel match. Cool. And uh, again, Ganon going straight to uh, Zalami's base to find out what he is. So, uh, Zalami going with the single oil this time, and uh, actually going for the expansion oil down at his base, while Ganon is going the same sort of route, going that barracks, getting the two oil yeah. refs. And we see Ganon camera, which is good. It's going to be interesting. So, uh, not much going on at the moment. The yeah. big players are trying to capture their banks with their infantry. Just establishing the economy. Exactly. Standard stuff. Yeah, it's, it's the first 2 minutes 45 seconds are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just. boring, let's say. And the opener is, is, is really. The o finding the right opener in the game is really difficult. And um, what do you, by the way, say about the bunkers? I think they are totally underrated. They should be buffed. The bunkers. Yeah, the U.S. bunkers. 
Ah, sorry, I just wanted to troll you. I think they're just OP. Yeah. <laughs> I think people on the stream I, I, know you. Yeah, well, don't get me started on MGNS Palettes, because I'd probably go into a 20-minute rant about how broken they are. But moving on to the game at hand, we see uh, <laughs> ZX Cannon going for his Northern Bank yeah. with a load of infantry. I wonder if we'll see uh, Zalami go for uh, a sniper or something to try and stop the infantry getting into uh, ZX Cannon's bank. Do you think so? It's uh, a common thing to do as a Chimera player. You'll um, come down over the bridge with a heavy sniper. You have the nice cover of the buildings and you're able to uh, pick off a few infantry in the building. But we'll wait and see. Yeah. So Ganon finally getting his aluminum income up. Yep. And Salami going for the vehicle bay, actually, the uh, spear vehicle bay. So it'll be interesting to see what he goes here. So moving away from the uh, shield attack, actually, he's going yeah. for sword instead. Well, we see two SAS coming. Three, he's... Ah, yeah. And Ganon, oh, he's having, again, like, contractors, like, so many contractors. Why is he having so many contractors running? The right so, uh, he wants to take the bank, does he? He really does, yeah. Like, this is... This is a common thing that Ganon will do. He'll uh, try and get the banks, get the extra income, you know, be aggressive, put the pressure on straight from the early, and that gives him a lot of open free time yeah. to start his expansion and macro play. Look at Ganon. He's again expanding onto aluminum. Even yep. You, you really need the extra aluminum income yeah. early on. Cartel. Exactly, and on that map, having a K-Max, the, the, the just simple K-Max tanker, having them on the like top... If he's having the control of the bottom bank, he should have two K-Maxes on the top two uh, bridges. To just see if something comes over them. It gives you <laughs> such an edge to have this vision. And I mean, it's it just $350. This is nothing. It's like, really nothing. Alright, so now we have a couple of Pumas out from Zalami with yeah. um, some heavy snipers in there. I um, mean, SAS, sorry. So used to Act of War. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't. I, I Act of War. I've just played it because a friend recommended it, like back in years. And I played the campaign and then I unisoled it. I wasn't into wow. multiplayer games back in, days, in that day. <laughs> Well, Act of War was a really good game. But yeah. anyway, onto this yeah. game. Yeah. So we see um, the Boomers going in to try and pick off these uh, contractors. Yeah, the contractors are just being eaten. Yeah, they're getting massacred. Yeah. And, uh, snipers are there to pick him out of the building. So. An unsuccessful attack there by Ganon. But look at the artillery turret at that um, at the refinery. I actually like the placement. Oh, that gives him a lot of coverage. It's a nice defensive position. Yeah. I mean, if he gets the upgrade on the artillery turret, it will cover a lot of the area. Isn't it and he's already the upgraded? Um, no, because if you click it, it'll show you the range it has, and it's only got the small range at the moment. Okay, because I clicked it and go satellite view and I see it. Uh, sorry for the steam sound, I cannot turn it off right now. And there we have the sniper, and the sniper being killed by... Wow. Indeed. The delivery turret just... Yeah. Doing some nice work. Yeah. Just, uh... It's, it, I, I was thinking about, like, took the sacrifice, like... Took what it needed to survive. Flesh. Ugh. Okay, so, um, yeah, we see... I also like the idea of the uh, ex ex the extension modules, how Ganon is using them to have a faster um, drop-off of the K-Maxes. Yep, it's um, 
It's also for um, when you eventually transition into Black Ops. Yeah. It's nice to put your Tokamak reactors next to them because yeah. if they blow up, they cause a massive explosion, and you don't want any of your important buildings to be taken out by that. Yeah. So we see the uh, artillery turret now being swarmed by the Pumas of Zalami and the uh, yeah. automatics in there to do some damage. Now you need to be careful, if that turret blows up you need to reduce a vehicle. And this is very good by Ganon. He even gets the money. Yep. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, it's very nice play there by Ganon. Preventing that explosion was yeah. really, really worth it. Yeah. By the way, I just got the message from Zion. Maybe someone knows him from Command Conquer 3. He was World Cyber Games like two times second place. Uh, that he bought Act of Aggression. <laughs> well, that's excellent. More people, the better. Yeah. We need some healthy competition in this game. Exactly. We can't let Salami and ZX Cannon win all the matches all the time. We yeah. need some fresh, fresh blood. Exactly. And there is the bank gone for Ganon. Oh, right, then uh, Puma is really doing some nice work there on the sniper action. But the artillery turret is just going to take the snipers out, so it's kind of a pointless exploit, really, when the artillery turrets are there to support the bank. Uh, they, they actually shoot on the bank? Yeah, they uh, do heavy damage to the infantry inside. It almost wow. one-shots them. Yeah. And if you look inside of... Uh, Salami's base, Ganon's already up there with a couple of super hinds and some uh, Shershets with some fire on the yeah. oil refinery. Oh my god, this is, seriously, this is the playstyle of Ganon. I mean, he's again all over the map and every attempt of Salami to actually pressure uh, Ganon failed. I mean, even losing the bank for Ganon, he's like, okay, but you don't you don't get it either because of the artillery turret. It just cleared it out. He, Salami just lost units, and exactly, he, he has no benefit because he just lost units. And Ganon is like, okay, I lost units too, but yeah, look at your base, man. Exactly, yeah. And he's putting some real good damage on this uh, refinery, and there's not a lot that Salami can really do. Yeah. There's to cover in the Shershens with the. Uh, Snipers tried to come in and pick them off. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the, the snipers just died to the superhinds, while the Shershens just take care of everything else. It's a really good play. Yeah. And for now, this looks pretty bad. If if Ganon gets the, the he's get okay now, he, he's going for uh, the what's the bay called? Uh, repair center. Ah, oh, repair center. And, yeah, that's and the really, napalm upgrade. Exactly. Yeah, he's gonna try and burn out the um, infantry banks. inside of the banks. Yes, exactly. We see Zalami's managed to get a aluminum expansion going with a oil refinery queued up. Yeah. Um, that was kind of a big loss for Zalami. Yeah. Like having to sell that refinery away and lose it, and put Scanlan ahead big time. And right now, Ganon is still expanding. Look at this. He's yep. just missing one oil on his uh, side of the river. And then he got all all fields. He just needs the uh, rare earth. And then he's done. Then he's just going to click Black Ops. It's going to yep. be done instantly. And then he's just going to transition into the all important specters. Exactly. But for now, he's doing really well against um, uh, Zalami's like, economy. Exactly. And because Alami went for, um, I think he's gone for the uh, sword protocol instead of the shield. He's missing out on them ninjas to help. Yeah. And there, no, there's a ninja coming. Okay, so he's finally got the ninjas, but I feel it was a little too late. So a lot uh, of damage has been done. Yeah, but still, I mean, it's not. Oh, look at the top! Look at the top! Hi. Two ninjas, three, ah, uh, two ninjas and six, five, six, six, four, four pumas uh, fighting off the uh, the super hides. But uh, there are two shershins, no, one viper, one shershin. 
still in the building shooting the uh, refinery. So yeah, this, this is, is really good. Yeah, it's annoying his um, vehicles. Exactly, and and really like Salami needs to get get back onto his feet. He he, he needs to probably he needs to harass all the Stealth refineries far away from from Ganon. He cannot Ganon yep. needs to place a automatic. Automats he's everywhere. He's doing it as you speak. He is literally placing all these automatics now right by his refineries because he's expecting that uh, ninja assault. This is wow. Ganon is he's this is such a good play by him. And Salami is, is Salami is really starting to yeah. Gre I see yeah. grenadiers and two SAS and Stealth neighbors, and so it's more or less a deja vu play. Yeah, exactly. But now, two, two, they, yeah, two just doing quite a lot of damage here, but now the auto's coming. Yeah, the auto's be like, what's up, ninjas? Meet my cannon. Ah, uh, cannon. Such a good job here by cannon. See, um, going back to the super hind attack at the top, I would have liked to have seen Ganon place a few Grinches inside of the uh, yeah. super hinds to uh, kill off the ninjas. Yeah. Can. And that would have been GG pretty much there. Yeah, exactly. And Ganon tries again to get the bank off uh, <laughs> with just contractors. There are four Pumas. Well, he's cleared the bank out, so yeah. I'm not sure what Salami is doing. He hasn't um, put he any has units right it. next to it. I think he's forgotten about it. He's yeah. really distracted. And this is where actually Ganon has his advantage. The distraction. He's not being the, that easily distracted. Oh, it's part of his playstyle. He just yeah. likes to do these little attacks everywhere. Take your mind off of what you want to do. Yeah. And uh, it just basically forces you to play defensive every time. And here we are seeing that prototype space. So he's already at Black Ops. And he has his repair vehicles ready yeah. to go with the Spectres. So now we see on the right side, we see a Namer. Dead Namer. And yeah. Salami's still, well, he's having trouble, but he, he slowly grows his economy. Stealth enemy unit detected. How far is, uh, okay, Ganon is now, okay, he's on Spectres now. And upgrade. Ganon is still missing the, uh, the, the stealth lap, but still. Yeah, and it, like, if you notice right at the bottom, you see there's a prisoner, and Zedek's Ganon is just going to capture it. I mean, that's yeah. the sort of little things you need to do in the game that really help you in the long run and it's yeah. really a show of a good player. But this is also the thing which you actually need as Cartel to actually get some uh, dollars. Indeed. But it's not always possible and that's the problem and uh, I mean Ganon plays such a good Cartel but still in my opinion Cartel is underpowered let's say. Have, have a Ganon play US or uh, Chimera, wow, it's like insane, I think. And he does actually like um, playing Chimera himself, yeah. but he won't, he won't touch Stealth US. enemy unit detected. He and me and a lot of our people believe US is still too powerful. Yeah, US is just, is, this is also what I think. I hate playing US because it's more or less, it's, 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 uh, it's, yeah. They are my favorite faction in Act of War, yeah. and I don't like him in this game. Not as much as Clan Cartel or Chimera. Yeah. They, they feel like, I mean, you have an Abrahams, you have that mega tank, and it feels so squishy. Yeah, that's, that's another thing, like, their units are kind of weird. Yeah, but now, look at this, I mean, we have a Salami who has nearly also all his isle. Hi, Ganon's um, kind of left it like left him to his own devices a bit. Yeah, just too long. But I mean, Ganon now moves with his specters and autos up to yeah. 
So yeah, he's probably going to go the long route. Yeah. Exactly. To avoid the bank and being shot from the bank. But uh, if he would know, there are just felons in there. So Aye. He's going to um, absolutely shred them pumas of uh, yeah. salami. He's just probably just drive them drive by because they will be one shot it each time. Indeed. Uh, I'm not sure if the pumas actually have the ATGM upgrade. No. Uh, we are seeing a sword vehicle bay, so he's at sword Stealth technology enemy at least. Unit detected. And he, we know he has shield, so it looks like he's getting some rare rifle as well. Looking to go heavy into terminators. Yeah, Ganon also goes into uh, rare earth now, but still he has one oil field left in his possession. Stealth enemy unit uh, yeah. detected. He probably hasn't seen it where he didn't escape that little area. But now we see the attack of Ganon driving by, yeah, the refinery of Salami. And there it goes, goes bang. He needs to keep driving up. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing there. I think he's actually gonna, enemy, he's gonna clear the bank. Yeah. That train of infantry back there that he likes to do. He's actually hurt his own vehicle, so he needs to do back there. Yeah. And there we see even more Spectres. And even more uh, Rams. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just having a quick look at Ganon's base, he's uh, got a few, well he's actually got an air control center right, so we yeah. might see some Valkyries. Yeah, and we see the library. accelerator coming, and uh, second uh, barracks. And we see the stealth lab without any uh, uh, research for now. And we see it, four? Is it four? No, three jackals stealth standing enemy there. Unit detected. And uh, yeah, he's cleaning, cleaning out all the base, uh, well all the... Way. Slowly just taking out Salami. Yep, this is what he needs to do. He needs to clear out all the outer base. Yeah, yeah exactly. Expansions. Stealth enemy unit detected. We see a Terminator in play, and he's still got a few Pumas, but there's not a great deal he's going to achieve if he runs that army into that. Yeah. The Brems are just going to heal any damage that the Spectres take, and they're going to tank some damage also. <sighs> so Ganon really pushing the advantage now, clearing yeah. out all the expansions. Yeah, and he's doing it so good, so solid. An unrelenting force. And he yeah. has a bank. I bet he's really happy yeah. about that now. Uh, Stealth um, enemy unit detected. Trying all game. <laughs> yeah, and I wonder if Ganon actually has a clue that he's missing that oil field. That one. He might possibly. He has no clue about that. He, he really doesn't have no clue now. This oh. is why he's building the extra barracks and getting the um, prisoners because yeah. he, he's basically preparing for more prisoners. Yeah. But, I mean, this is also a thing, he probably knows that he's more or less winning, but still, he's, he's still 100%. Other players would have just, like, just go on spam until the opponent's dead. No, Ganon is placing more and more barracks, just to be safe. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, exactly, he's always preparing for the Possibilities, worst. exactly. And here and we go, X-32s. Stealth enemy unit detected. Now the next. Oh my God! He's leaving that refinery on top there. Life. Well, it's pretty much useless. Rare oh. earth isn't going to help um, Salami now. Oh, look at this! It's it's really this is so mean. Now Ganon starts to build refineries. Yeah. <laughs> and Salami. You can see a refinery on top of the yeah. yeah. blueprint. Burke and inside, you get it, that's fine. You don't have an enemy anymore. And he's sending a little flank up, yeah. taking the refineries, just claiming everything he can. Yeah. Look at the look at the Brem. Oh, everyone is shooting on that Brem, Stealth it's not enemy dying. Unit detected. <laughs> yeah. 
it doesn't want to. That's so tanky there, you know, really yeah. So he's basically doing a split push now, and yeah. Salami's just selling up everything, realizing that. Yeah, this is it. He's coming to a short end. Stealth enemy unit detected. So, I was uh, right with my prediction. Yeah, exactly. Well done, sir. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, this was. Today, and he just. <laughs> Okay, well that's GG. Yeah. And 2-0 to Ganon, and Ganon is the champion. Oh okay, yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, let's see if I can catch up Ganon here. In the TeamSpeak, let me just switch him. User was Welcome no Ganon, live on the stream. Hello. You won the game, and uh... Yeah! What do you think? It was quite impressive. I just have one question for you, sir. Are you aware that there was one full oil field missing on your side you didn't take? Oh, really? Yeah. On uh, which, yeah. which, uh, which uh, direction it was? Uh, to the right, just so you know, actually yeah, be to right. your left. Yeah, to your, to, on, on your position to the right. On the top, uh, 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 top oh, of your bank. Oh yes, I totally forgot to take that. Yes, I was aware that there was something, but I totally forgot to take that. That's why I took yeah. salami spaces. Yeah, we <laughs> saw that. Actually, well played. And uh, did you, you struggle in the first map where um, actually salami came to your base with uh, that huge amount of uh, namers and everything? Were you a bit m struggling? Were you like, oh damn it, or did you more or less? Say okay, I got it on control. Did you? Very that excited. Is, that is a good question. I was like at first, I was like, oh shit, I'm going to lose the game, even though I have the whole of the map. I mean, my half of the map. But then I was like, okay, I have the money. I just spam over him. And then I was glad that I defeated the first wave. And then I was like, hmm, there must be anything I could counter this way easier than just super high dropping. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute, I have jackals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because yeah. jackals raped this army. I totally forgot about those. I, I never did, built um, them. I, oh, they are, I just only need those to really clear efficiently banks when there are too many stingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did mention actually, uh, if you put a few Grinches with your super hinds, you probably could have taken care of them ninjas a lot easier. Yeah, but how do you find my. How do you find my. Oh, did you like my defense from my harvesters? Because I was like depressingly trying to find something against Chimera defending in, uh, your K-Max because it's really hard to do as Cartel. It really is, yeah. And it's you played very really well, yeah. It was, it was quite impressive to see. Um, from my perspective, I would beat you like every time, but um, you did well. <laughs> you did oh. well. <laughs> I trained you, you well. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. it's, it's only because of the awesome Penta training. Yes, exactly. exactly. That's, why, uh, that's why I'm rank 1. <laughs> ah, yeah. Someone <laughs> actually wanted to see... Again, oh, yeah, you're lagging. You're lagging. You're lagging. So, someone yeah, wanted to... Play, you did very well. Yeah. I trained a lot and hard for this tournament. Even yeah. though there's nothing to win, but I was like, I need to win this. So, there you can see, by the way, the uh, rankings so far. So, yeah, the progression of the tournament was pretty pretty funny, though, that Andre got dropped out by Maze. Um, yeah. That uh, you 2 would Building Theft, which was also pretty interesting to see. Uh-huh. Uh, that actually, we, we were thinking that it's more or less, like, it, it's, like, Andre also said it, that it's more, more map-dependent on what you play against each other and um, but still we, we thought it's more or less a 2-1 in your favor but you 2 owed him also pretty fast from what I saw and Salami against Maze, Salami against Maze was already a kind of struggle uh, we saw pretty good we saw pretty good executed build orders by uh, 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 Maze and Salami but the overall macro of the map like the map awareness that was missing by both of them. This is what you actually had in favor, and this is actually, from my point of view, this is why ZX Ganon won that tournament, to be honest. Because Indeed. That is, Thank it's, you. He, he, he had the slight better macro than the others, and um, everything was more fluent. Now, yeah.
we will actually wait for the next tournament. I hope there will be one. And uh, yeah, also. this actually was it. Do you have any last words, Ganon? Well, it was a really great tournament. I hope there will be more of those because it actually helps the game to get promoted and be better, you know, getting competitive stuff out. And I was really glad to participate in this tournament and being in Panther and stuff. And yeah, AOA is great, Game Replays is great, Panther is great, I love you all. Okay. That's all I can say. Optic, what do you say? How would you buff the uh, uh, the, the MG Nest? What would you do? Oh, for God's sake, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know how I feel about them picking <laughs> things. Look, Wister, if you're listening, if you're watching, just give them a bloody pair requirement and I'm happy. Okay? <laughs> Then I'm done. Okay, that was happy. actually actually that was still I got a joke. I I also it. A, can I also answer a wish or something like that? I would yes. like to see Green Zone get getting nerfed. But the buff for early game US, I feel like US has a lot of trouble in early game because their default units are not as good as their really strong Task One units. So why not making Task One one uh, more expensive? But the default units of US are cheaper so that US can actually compete in early game. I would like to see that. Actually, US can like compete US. in early game though. But um, this is this is a discussion for uh, for Forbes. So, any f real last words now? Optic, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually want to. Like, uh, okay. that was well. Like, I predicted from the start that Ganon would have a really good advantage this game because of how he's been playing. He's been getting that really strong map control, and you know, so. Really well played, Ganon, and I feel that you really did deserve to win this tournament, so Thank you. props to you, mate. Well done. Okay. I will still upload the stuff. and Yeah. I will cut the videos later. I'm not sure if I will do it today, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys, and um, yeah, see ya until next time. Bye, Bye. until next time. See you all.